Yo, what's going on guys? Alex here, and today I'm gonna be showing you the best knot in all of fishing, the improved clinch knot. All right guys, so let's get started with the improved clinch knot. The absolute best knot, in my opinion, in all of fishing. I've been using it ever since I was a kid. It's gonna get you through 95% of circumstances, and it never fails on me. So, here we go. We're gonna take the line, and we're gonna pass it through the eye of the hook. I'm gonna pull out about three to four inches of line outside of that eye so that it can give me enough space to make some wraps around the main line here. Now, the amount of wraps that you do is going to depend on the diameter of the line. So this is gonna be 20 pound monofilament, which means I'm gonna need about six wraps around the line. Now, if you've got a lesser diameter, a lower pound test line in that six to 10 pound range, I would recommend about seven to eight wraps just to be safe. Now, if you're using a heavier line, you can get away with four to five wraps. It just depends on how heavy the line is. So with 20 pounds, I'm gonna be using about six wraps. So let's get started with that. Let's go around once, two, three, four, five, and six. And now, once we've gone around six times, I've got my tag end here. And then what you'll notice is we've created a little loop next to the eye of the hook right here. And I'm gonna send that tag end through that little loop. And once we do that, we've created another loop in the line here. And you're just gonna take that tag end and you're gonna go back through the bigger, the bigger loop. And now once you get it pulled out to right there, before you tighten it all the way down, you wanna wet it with either your saliva or water, whatever it takes. You just don't wanna create any abrasion along that mono or, or fluorocarbon leader. So just give it a little wet and then tighten it down. And once you've tightened it down, just take your scissors, snippers, whatever, trim it right next to the end there, and you've got your improved clinch knot. This knot almost never fails. It is one of the best knots in all fishing. You can use it for anything. Now what I'm gonna do is show you how to tie the clinch knot so that you can use it to tie your monofilament to your braided line or your fluorocarbon leader to your braided line. Let's get right into that. All right, so I've got my braided line here, my monofilament line here, and we're gonna tie these together using clinch knots just to show you how universal this knot is and how awesome it is. So I'm gonna create an X with my lines here, and then I'm going to wrap the braided line over the monofilament line and pull that monofilament line towards me to attach them both together. And I'm gonna use this middle point here as my pinch point. I'm gonna pinch that and then I'm gonna start wrapping the monofilament around itself, just like we did to tie the clinch knot. Now I'm only gonna do it about four times here because four times on this side, four to five times on that side, and that's gonna be the amount of knots, uh, the amount of times you need to go over to tie this. So we're gonna go back through this little loop that we created here. All the meanwhile, we're holding on to that uh, braided line to make sure it doesn't slip. So before I tighten that down, I just wanna pull that just so that it doesn't slip. You don't have to pull it all the way tight quite yet. You just have to pull it enough just so it doesn't slip to keep that loop open there. Now we're gonna tie our braided side here. So pinch point right here still, and then wrap with the braided line. Now I'm gonna do about four to five wraps on this side. And then like you see, we've created a loop here. Just go back through that loop like we always do. And if you wanted to, I kind of do this sometimes. You don't have to. I'm just going to show you about this uh, so that you have all the knowledge that you need. Um, you can actually go back through the loop again. It's just a little bit more complicated so that you do the, the improved clinch knot on this side. Uh, with braided line, it's sometimes a little bit helpful so that it doesn't slip. But then you're just going to pull those together there. And there you go. We got your clinch knot on one side, improved clinch knot on the other side. You can do both. You can do clinch, clinch, improved, improved. It doesn't matter. Um, it should hold just the same. I like to do the improved with the braided line just because the braided line is typically a little bit more slick. So I'm gonna cut off my tag ends here. And there you go. There's your improved clinch knot here and your regular clinch knot here and we've tied our braided and your monofilament together all right guys that's the improved clinch knot if you enjoyed that tutorial leave a thumbs up smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel we got more videos coming more fish to be caught more tutorials to be made i'm alex and remember a bad day fishing is better than a good day anywhere else catch you guys in the next video